Hello everyone, I'm Thomas and welcome to the island of Sodor, an island where it's full of railways and run by really useful engines like me. Have you ever had anything that you haven't used in a while and it became useful again as if it hadn't collected dust in the first place? Well that's what happened to my friend, Edward. He wasn't being used for a while till one day, he was being used again and he became a hard worker again. This is how it happened. <laughs> One day at the shed, Edward was feeling miserable, and the bigger engines like Gordon were teasing him about it. The driver won't choose you again. He wants strong engines like us, he said. Just then, this crew came and asked him if he would like to come out of the shed, and Edward immediately said yes with joy on his face. After his fire was lit up and had enough steam, he popped out of the shed and started pulling some coaches. The coaches were very pleased with him and he took good care of them by not bumping them around like any of the other engines would do. He worked all day and showed that he may be old, but he's reliable all the way to night time. At the shed, he told us that he was going out again tomorrow, but we didn't really care about what he had to say and he fell asleep at once. Early the next morning, Gordon was boasting about how important he was and telling him what's going to happen. You watch out for me, little Edward. As I'm pulling the express today, that'll be a splendid sight for you. And he couldn't leave the sheds without saying goodbye, Edward. Look out for me this afternoon. Edward didn't care about what Gordon said and left to shut some trucks. He would bump them in the sightings and scare them too. They would yell, oh, whatever is happening. Edward continued doing it till there were no more trucks to shut. So he had a nice long break before he could do another job. But while he was doing that, Gordon looking very annoyed because he wasn't pulling an express train but instead a line of dirty trucks. A goods train, a goods train, he complained. The shame of it, the shame of it, all the shame of it. Edward laughed and went back to work, but that didn't last long as the porter walked up to him. Gordon can't get up the hill, will you push him please? Soon, Edward saw Gordon stuck on the hill and arguing with his crew. He said the trucks are holding him back and it would be much different if they were coaches. Edward's driver walked up to them and said they were going to help him but Gordon had his doubts. You wait and see, said the driver. Gordon parked it down the hill and waited for Edward to get behind him. When he did they started very slowly so the brake van wouldn't fall apart. Gordon still had his doubts about the idea but Edward kept pushing from behind, believing he can do it. And at last, they made it to the top. But Gordon went down so fast that he didn't even say thank you for the help. Edward tried to catch up to him, but it was no use and he went to the closest water tower to have a nice drink of water. Edward was tired from all that, but his crew were very pleased with him. I'll get out my paint tomorrow, his driver said, and you'll have a lovely new blue coat with red stripes. Edward was happy to hear that. After that day, he became more of a hard worker and was always used for shunting and helping other engines when needed. Just remember to always use what you've got in your bedroom, living room, or anywhere else in your house or else it'll call up a lot of dust and might feel useless like Edward did. I better get back to work so I can continue working hard myself and be a really useful engine. Come back another time so I can tell you another story that happened on this railway. See you real soon.